Hello, my sumo peeps. I am here doing a voiceover on the tutorial I have already recorded because for some lousy reason, my audio decided not to work. So this is a tutorial based on lots of private messages I had asking how did I do my leaves, which are really just uh, sumo leaves that I warped using the warp tool and shaded using burn and dodge tools. So now that you are seeing my screen, let's open up Sumo and start a new image. On the first layer, let's put a nice gradient so that we'll have a nice background to work on. Start a new layer, choose our brush tool, bring the flow all up, the sides up as far as you can go, choose page number two, and choose a leaf top row preferably because the bottom row is really just silhouettes. Let's bump up our size a bit more to fill the screen and plop. There you go. There's a leaf. You can see that the Sumo leaf brush is really comprehensive as it is, but we can make it look a bit more realistic. Let's go ahead and do hue and saturation and colorize and put a color that we like on there. And when we have it how we like it, let's go ahead and choose the blur tool, which will also open up the dodge and burn tools. And you can see the little sun light and the uh, cloud is to lighten and darken it. Choose our first brush, fuzzy brush, and turn our intensity way down. Um, Wait, below 15 is usually advisable, anything else is just too strong. Turn our size up on our brush. Now let's go ahead and use the lightning tool, or the sun tool, dodge tool I guess, and just kind of lighten up an area sort of like we were shading it if we were drawing it. And if we go too heavy, go back. I think we're gonna lessen the strength of it again. Just go and lighten it, sort of gives it some shape, almost like a sort of arching there, touching the light. Any mistakes that we do, we can correct. There's no stress to it. See, it's already sort of taking a little bit more shape onto it. Even use the cloud tool or the bird tool to sort of darken different like if we wanted to darken the spine a bit and yeah, make it sort of even darker and darken the edges all this just sort of gives a little bit more shape have it how we like it, let's go ahead and choose the warp tool, lay it flat, go to the warp tool and get a few more points for warpage and literally just play with it. Just sort of bring it around till you get a shape that you feel is more natural that will work in whatever setting that you're going to use this leaf in. I tend to like that where the side of it kind of comes up a little higher. That's how I did that one with the beanstalk, where I placed some more flowers inside the leaf. And you just keep playing with it until you get it to a shape that you like. This one looks pretty pleasing to me. Get it just so. Let's go ahead and um, do a little bit more shading, kind of 
of lighten up that side that we raised there just to give it a little bit more separation from the rest of the leaf. Remember, this is all experimentation. Go ahead and darken that extreme edge. And like I say, I'm, I'm not really an artist, I'm just a manipulator. So it's really just playing around and seeing what you can do to make things seem a little bit more realistic to you if you're going for that realistic kind of three-dimensional look. That looks nice to me. And if we're being lazy, which I'm going to do right now, rather than make another leaf, we're going to duplicate that leaf. And we're going to give it a little bit of a different shape. Of course, it's better to really do a whole new leaf um, to make it seem more realistic to the nature. Things are never that close to each other. But in Palby nature, this is the way it's going to be. Let's kind of turn it around. What we're doing is we're kind of building a frame for a, a flower here with our wood leaves. that down so it's one layer and let's duplicate that again and we'll do some more warpage we'll keep building until we get something that mimics nature <laughs> and you know you might not like what I am doing here so you might do it completely different I've chosen a different color. It's all up to you. And some people think I'm a little snappy when they leave me a comment like, how did you do that? <laughs> I'm like, I experimented until I got it right. Let's go ahead and put a flower on here so we know what we're working with. They're flowers I don't really like that much, um, but they are kind of nice to build with. Not especially fond of this pink color. But let's go ahead for now and work this one a little bit, give it a little bit of a three dimensional look, a little bit flatter, more pointing towards the sun. We're going to build on this a little bit more. that's more pleasing to you. I know that colors or flowers really are pink in nature like that, but I just am not a big pink fan. So I think this peachy color will work just fine. So we'll play with curves and kind of customize a little bit more, bring up our highs and lows. You can even use some of the default settings. It's fun to play with them. I never seem to be quite happy with default settings, so I have to tweak it on my own more. You play with the red and the green channels. Kind of really create your own color rather than just choose from one of the colors in, in human saturation. Let's duplicate that layer. And we'll transform it. something that's, I guess, like a rose that's sort of layered. shadow to give it some depth, give different layers depth, bump up the distance, and fade it out a little bit so it doesn't look quite so sharp. There we go, that's good. I'm not 
wasn't happy with the, the amount of leaves. I feel like I need to build upon that a little bit more. So for now, we'll do a step. And we'll choose our curved line. And once you draw a straight line, you just kind of pull and we'll curve it. Get it behind everything. Let's get a hue and saturation. Lighten it a bit. And go back there and try and get it close to the leaves and color. Okay. Now let's add a, add a bevel to it to give it some shape. That's good. I like to choose a color that's more in keeping with the arrangement there. That looks good. Yeah, let's duplicate another leaf set. Let's build on the leaves a bit. Again, we're going to kind of play with them and make them a little bit different so that it doesn't appear all the leaves are exactly the same. recorded this video. <laughs> Oops, don't delete. There we go. It's starting to look a little bit more realistic. And believe it or not, I will be tweaking this a little bit more after this video concludes so that I can get the look that I really want. That's how you build Sumo images. You keep tweaking until you get it how you are happy with it. They never come out 100% as you planned. They usually come out a little better. You just gotta be creative. And this is my finished product. I added the grass, added the background, played with the color a bit more, and I was happy with it. Thanks for watching, you guys.